I am walking smack dab in the middle of the street in Conyers, Georgia, right outside Atlanta. There is nobody on the street. Like, I'm literally just, look at what I'm doing right now. Oh my God, it is so hot. I'm drenched in sweat. It's hot, hot Atlanta. I'm Chris Donahoe, and this is Walk Therapy. I will be sending you a bill for this video, even though it's illegal. I am not a therapist. Today's video is all about how the devil went down to Georgia, picked up all the sweet Georgia peaches, and devoured them. If you know me IRL, you know that I'm not particularly an advocate for the South or for Southern culture or Southern charm. I've been pretty critical, but that is not what I'm here to do today. There's a lot of positive going on here, okay? Mainly like people just being very nice, at least at the surface level. I love how in Georgia, no matter who you pass on the street, you have to kind of wave at them and acknowledge them as a human, like, hey stranger. Really the biggest downside for me about Atlanta or Georgia or the South in general is that I absolutely, as a man, cannot wear a crop top here. Like, I will be hate crime. I am dating the most wonderful man in the world. He doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna try to get him to film a video with me today while we're in Atlanta visiting his family. I have to be very smart about the way I play this because Wesley is a very sensible person. It is not in his nature to go running his mouth on YouTube. He's reasonable, he's an actuary, he has a corporate job. This is just not his style, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Wesley is the definition of sweet Georgia peach. If an inanimate peach could come to life as a human being and then just be the sweetest thing you've ever met, it would be Wesley Loden. Oh my God, I just called Wesley and he's agreed to run to me. We're both on runs right now and he's gonna come meet up with me at this corner and he's gonna go on film with me. He has this thing on his phone where it's an app that's like zombie walk or zombie run where it's playing some zombie scenario in your head and you have to run and it tells you like when to go faster because the zombies are chasing you. That's what he's doing right now. You can see just over my shoulder right here, Wesley is running up behind me. Look at how this cute little man is running. That is so adorable. I was just talking about how you would be a sweet Georgia peach come to life if peaches could be not inanimate objects, but humans. Yeah. That's what I would be. <laughs> That's all he has to say. <laughs> what else would I be? Talk a little bit about what it was like to grow up in the Atlanta area. I really grew up in Conyers, which is very, very different from Atlanta. I think you're seeing it here and now. It's weird because people, when I would tell them at NYU, I grew up in Atlanta just for ease, then they would ask me about Atlanta and I'd be like, I don't know anything about Atlanta. <laughs> I can tell you about Conyers. It's a small little city. It's like 30 minutes south east of Atlanta. It was a good place to grow up. We were, had blue ribbon schools. I had a good high school. I had a good childhood. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's like anyone else's childhood. This is why Wesley is so well adjusted, like listening to him. I just had a beautiful childhood like everyone else. Thank you so much for being on my video. I love you. He's the sweetest. He's so cute! I love that Wesley talks about how it was just like a beautiful place to grow up because he's forgetting that when he was in middle school, there was a documentary made about his county and the syphilis outbreak here with high schoolers. And there was also a school shooting when he was in high school. So it's like, come on! And I do think that in the South, people have a tendency to gloss over the more gruesome truths that surround us on a day-to-day -day basis, whether they're social or economic. You know, it's just a good place to live like everywhere else. Yesterday was actually really cool because I had the opportunity to film two YouTube videos and a podcast with this amazing influencer. His name is The Gay Bestie. He's a black Atlanta gay. And we had incredible conversation around race relations, income inequality, and other really important topics that I think a lot of times don't get so much attention or conversation time down here. If you're not already subscribed to The Gay Bestie, you need to subscribe to his channel. You can find it in the links below here. You can also find him on Instagram, at The Gay Bestie. He is perfection. I love that song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Sometimes I just feel like I'm the devil going down to Georgia, that northerner who's terrorizing everyone. Oh, you're just here to have a good time? Well, I have a really heavy topic I wanna push. At any rate, I'm grateful to Georgia because it's the place where Wesley grew up and Wesley is the love of my life. Without Georgia, there would be no Wesley, there would be no sweet Georgia peach for me and that would just be very sad. If you think Wesley is as cute as I do or if you know him IRL and you want to just tell him how adorable, wonderful, sweet, and incredible of a human he is, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll be posting every Monday and every Thursday and I look forward to continuing this conversation with you soon. The devil went down to Georgia, he was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. When he came across this young man sewing on a fiddle and playing it hot, and the devil jumped up This little barking dog boy, me behind what. me, I just I felt like he should be in the video. Know it, but I'm a I mean, I'm right about it.